Hello, my name is Naya Joindao, and I am the director of I Cannot Bury My Father. I Cannot Bury My Father is a short documentary that tells the story of Isaac Mensah, whose father was among a group of West African migrants who were forcibly disappeared and killed in the Gambia in 2005 by security forces of ex-dictator Yahya Jami. And while the gory details of this tragedy made headlines at the time and caused diplomatic tension, the sorrow, enduring pain, and longing for justice of the families were soon forgotten. 15 years after, Isaac has still not been able to bury his father because the mortal remains were never returned to him. I wanted to show the human side of this tragedy, and it was really a privilege to be given permission to do so. I wanted to highlight the, um, the emotional, spiritual, and cultural importance of grief and funeral Migration is seen and felt by those left behind, and most importantly, the loving son-father relationship, because we're talking about human beings here and human lives. And yes, the documentary also highlights the political dimensions of seeking accountability for um, human rights violations and atrocity crimes, both re regionally and within Gambia. Um, but really, it, it really rests on the theme of befitting funeral in Ghana. It depicts the uh, Ashanti culture of Isaac, which really places utmost importance on traditional customs and funeral rites to maintain the honor of the deceased and ensure a transition to the afterlife. And failure to do so may actually result in great shame and alienation of the family. And I also was hoping that through this uh, short film, the audience will learn about the devastating effects of enforced disappearances on families and their loved ones. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brenda Hodge. I am the director, writer, and co-producer of the short documentary, Hi Up. It is such an honor to be a part of the New York African Film Festival's 20th edition this year and share this film with all of you. Hayat is very special and personal to me. It tells the story of a beautiful mother named Rahma raising her four young children in Melbourne, Australia. Similarly to my mother's experience when she migrated from Egypt to Australia almost 30 years ago. As a single mother and Muslim migrant, for Rahma raising her children in a place foreign to her own is mostly isolating and lonely. Just like many families coming from the trauma of destabilizing or war-torn countries, the clash between and balance between two different worlds is deeply complex. But what Rahma does is encourage her children to maintain a strong sense of their own culture um, and faith as a means of embracing Western society. This is an intimate portrait of strength and love. It encapsulates how deeply intricate not only the tribulations but also the tender moments that exist between families that I hope can be universally identified with or resonate with you personally in some way. The intention of this film was really to fill in the underrepresented gaps of what the African Australian migrant experience really is and add to incomplete perceptions. Um, so I really hope you all enjoy and thank you so much again to the AFF and Mahan for this incredible honour. Hello, New York African Film Festival. My name is Chase Johnson. I'm the director and writer of Waters of March. Um, for anyone who's watching this, I kind of just want to introduce myself and give you kind of an overview of what this film is about. Um, you know, I'm a director based in Los Angeles, California. Um, when I was in high school, I ended up losing the matriarch of my family, uh, my great grandma. And um, it was a hard loss for all of us, um, surely. But for me, it, it took a, a profound effect on me. Um, I remember I caught a fever for the second time um, while we were staying in Long Beach uh, before the funeral. Um, when I, we, my family, we slept in the Motel 6 or Holiday Inn uh, just so that we could be closer to the funeral. I remember sleeping in the bed. Um, my brother was next to me. Um, my mom and dad were in the bed to the left of me. And I remember seeing from the corner of the room two shadow figures gliding and they came close to me. 
Um, as soon as those figures kind of, you know, really approached me, I, they took human form and they took the form of my great grandmother who just recently passed and my uh, grandmother uh, who died at age 29 who accompanied her. Um, so I was instantly overwhelmed with joy, sadness, um, but not fear. And I felt like I couldn't move my body. So um, I reached out to them kind of saying that, you know, I'm ready to go with them. And without talking, they just smiled and assured me, Chase, um, you can't come. So um, that's what inspired me to tell this story and do this film um, to kind of show insight on the grieving process that I had and, you know, further let people know that there is a world beyond um, the one that we know. So um, I hope that you all enjoy Waters of March. It was my first film I ever made um, without going to film school. And I've done it with my business partner um, who also didn't go to film school. So um, I hope you enjoy and um, I give you Waters of March. Hi there, my name is Martina Lee and I'm the director of Black Boy Joy. It's about three generations of black men struggling to raise a child with autism while also dealing with the loss of a loved one. This movie is about toxic masculinity. It's about family, but ultimately it's really a story about love. Uh, for me, I connected with this story because I really love the intersectionality between race and gender and masculinity. And I think this story specifically really highlights and kind of talks about what it's like to, to raise a young black boy in America, but also what does that look like when, if that, if that young boy is also on the spectrum. It's a story that we don't necessarily talk about and, it's, and I think it's a story that is important Hello, I'm Lara Souza. I'm the director of the film Fin or End. I'm a filmmaker and artist from Mozambique. This is my place in Maputo. Today is a really, really rainy day, but we are in plain summer. <laughs> um, I'm really happy to share with you all uh, my short film. It's about my relationship with my dad and all the history of uh, independence of our country. Uh, it's a really, really dear film for me because it was made in a moment that I was exploring the language of a, an essay. And I think for me, it's, it's a really poetic piece about history and family and how silence uh, can be reverted in art in cinema so i'm really really happy i wish everything could be in a different moment of the world but even like this i'm really happy to share this piece with you all and thank you so much bye